Hey. All right. Well, last night was a bit of a rough night. I first experienced insomnia with body pain. And then this morning at about five o'clock this morning, I woke up in extreme muscle pain and some body pain or uh, joint pain, like my hands and my ankle, like joint wise hurt. But it was mainly the muscle pain that was really um, getting to me. I couldn't get comfortable in bed. I had to move to the couch to see if I can get comfortable there. My C7, which is like the base of your neck, it's actually, it's still like throbbing. It's hurting really, really bad. And then all the muscles around it is hurting. Um, I have a little headache. That's why I have my beanie on. It kind of makes my head feel a little better. Believe it or not, I, I don't know why. Maybe it feels like it's all my head's put together. <laughs> but I, um, I don't know. I just, it was a really, really rough night. I woke up, like I said, about five, and my hands, I couldn't even close my hands. I think I could close them about like that much. But now I'm able to, you know, close them a little bit. Took my medication, took my pain meds, and. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm, I mean, I'm still experiencing quite a bit of pain where I'm not able to walk without like a limp or can't really put much weight on my feet because it feels like my ankles are going to snap off. So I'm fortunate that today I'm off, thank goodness. So I get a veg and really just take it easy today. Which I don't really like doing, believe it or not. I feel almost like guilty when I don't do something or be productive. I, I, I like to keep in motion. I like to do things. It's a beautiful day today. I was hoping to take my dogs out for a walk or play basketball or do something active or fit. But I don't see it happening today. It's not a good day. So, Like I said, like my head hurts. I feel like scatterbrained, almost like the lights are on, but no one's home, which sucks, but I'll be alright. Yeah, I think that's what I get for not taking the Plaquenil for like a week and a half or two weeks or whatever. Now I completely understand, um, which this has never happened to me, but I know like close friends who are like... Um, they suffer from like PTSD and stuff like that, which I know this is on a complete different tangent, but it'll all fall into place, trust me. Um, they'll, they suffer from PTSD and they'll go and they'll get their prescription and take their antidepressants or whatever they're taking and they'll feel great. Oh, wow, I feel good. I feel normal. And then they won't go get their scripts and then they fall back into the dark cycle of depression or anger or whatever PTSD sufferers suffer from. So I can almost kind of relate where I was feeling good, taking the Plaquenil, I was up, I was doing things, I felt normal, and I almost forgot, which is funny how you, you kind of forget about how much pain you suffered from. Like I kept thinking to myself, oh, it's fine, I can go another day, I'll just deal with it. And then a day turned into four days and four days turned into... Like I said, like a week and a half, two weeks of not taking this medication. So I definitely dug my grave in regards to that. I should have taken, I shouldn't have waited that long to take the Plaquenil. Um, but I'm hoping by next week I'll be not normal, but I will feel like how I felt when I had taken it for the um, the third week. So... Which I have faith that, you know, it, it, it will happen. I think I'm just impatient. I want things like now. I, I like results now. Um, but I just, I can't have it. So, but another thing I wanted to talk about is I've been taking milk thistle, which um, is a new vitamin added to like the collage of vitamins that I've been taking. Milk thistle is good for your liver. It cleans your liver, which... I believe 
people, regardless of an autoimmune disease, should actually consider taking milk thistle in their diet. In fact, I used to take it intermittently before I was diagnosed with mixed connective tissue disease. But I would, I would start it, but then I noticed that I would get like cravings. I would eat a lot. My appetite was enhanced. So then I realized, eh, I don't really want to be eating like a pig. So I just kind of, you know, shoved the milk thistle to the corner. But now since I've been diagnosed with this autoimmune disease, I've been taking medication, which I never used to take any kind of medication. So I figured, you know, it's a good start. I should incorporate milk thistle back into my diet. And also an another thing is with the Plaquenil, I don't have an appetite, which is not necessarily a bad thing because I can lose, you know, a few pounds. But when I don't eat all day because of the Plaquenil is suppressing my, my, um, like I'm having a brain infarction. When the Plaquenil is suppressing my, um, cravings, see, look at, there's that brain fog again. It's horrible. I hate it. I, um, when I don't eat, then I become fatigued, lightheaded because my body is, you know, like my blood levels or my blood sugar levels are low and whatnot. But with the good thing about the milk thistle is it's balancing out the Plaquenil side effects, meaning I have my appetite. I'll, I'll, I'll munch, I'll eat. So, yeah, I don't know if that, like, the last 30 seconds made sense or anything like that because, like I said, uh, it's horrible, this this whole, you know, brain fog thing that lupus patients have is just, it's horrible. It makes you sound like an idiot sometimes, but anyways, whew, look at that. You can see my scar from my accident. Can you see that? Horrible. Oh, another thing, though, too, I notice I've been popping up with a whole bunch of, like, different bruises and stuff that I don't know where I'm getting these bruises from. That one just popped up yesterday. I noticed it yesterday evening. And then I have bruises all over my legs and stuff like that. So um, hopefully the iron that I've been taking kicks in and these bruises go away. It looks like I've, you know, I'm being assaulted or something. But um, with the whole juicing, because according to my last video, I've been juicing a lot, which... Oh, it's, it's great. You know, I feel great once I um, drink a green drink. And I'm sure you guys are probably saying, well, why don't you go and just, you know, get a green drink right now? But uh, I think I'm beyond that point right now. So just because I'm in the, like, the middle of my flare. So, yeah. Anyways, I should probably get up and do something. I'm tired of um, sitting down on the couch. I want to do something and be productive today. But anyways, trying to think if there's anything else I need to say. Nope. So I'd stay healthy and um, we'll see you next time.